Hello everyone, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'd like to show you how you can use KWL in your classes. What is KWL? Well, it is a graphic organizer, a tool, a strategy, a technique that helps students organize information before, during, and after the lesson. Um, it is used to improve reading comprehension. It also improves a student's ability to remember the material. KWL is usually used with classroom textbooks, storybooks, picture books, and um, newspaper articles. It's a very, very effective way to read with purpose, as they say. So, let me show you how it works. KWL uses a chart to show what your students know about the topic, um, hence the capital letter K, what they want to know about the topic, hence the capital W, and what they learned about the topic, hence the capital letter L. KWL is used in all three parts of the lesson. One, introduction. Uh, it's the part where you activate their um, background knowledge. See what they know. Two, presentation or teaching. Um, it's the part where you introduce new material to your students. And three, review. It's where you recap what they've already learned. Let me give you an example. Well, you want to start with the lesson topic. So the first thing you want to do is to write it down uh, on your blackboard. In my case, it's going to be Antarctica, one of my lessons. Then you want to draw a chart on your blackboard like so. Now, at the top of the first column here, please write the word no. Above the middle column, uh, write want to know. And above the third column, write the word learned. In this part of the lesson, brainstorm everything your students know about Antarctica and write it down here for everyone to see. So your students may say things like, it is very cold there. There is a lot of ice penguins live there or polar bears live there. Now this information is incorrect, but do not correct wrong information just yet. Um, you will correct it later as you proceed with your lesson or your students are going to correct it themselves when they realize um, um, they made a mistake. Next, Ask your students what they want to know and write the questions here in this column. So your students may say things like, how cold is Antarctica? Is it a country or an island? What animals live in Antarctica? Do people live there? Okay, so now you uh, want to proceed with your lesson. Now you get to the um, uh, second part. It's where you teach new material. And let me show you how you can do it. Well, let me show you a part of my lesson. What do you know about Antarctica? Is it a city, a country, or an island? It's a short video clip that I made to 
uh, get the students into the mood, you know, to show them the beauty of Antarctica. <laughs> Well, let's read and find out. So, what do you know about Antarctica? Is it a city, a country, or an island? No, no, and no. Antarctica is a continent with the Southern Ocean all around it. It is bigger than Europe and almost double the size of Australia. Antarctica is a very, very cold place. In 1983, the temperature here was 89.2 degrees centigrade below zero. So here you um, teach your students as you would teach a regular reading class. Not many animals live in Antarctica. Whales and seals live in the ocean. Emperor penguins only live in Antarctica. They are the largest penguins on Earth. They are 1.2 meters tall. Right? So this is the part where you, uh, where your students get the answer about what kind of animals live in Antarctica. People don't live in Antarctica. Only scientists go there to study the weather and carry out experiments. Again, it answers another question your students asked. I think it gives you a pretty good idea how you can use um, your PowerPoint lesson in combination with the uh, KWL tool. At the end of the lesson, ask your students what they learned about the topic and make a list in the third column under learned. Um, also, make sure that they refer to the second column and uh, pretty much what you're going to get is the answers to these questions. So your students may say sentences like Antarctica is a continent. In 1983, the temperature here was 89.2 degrees below zero. Um, whales, seals, and penguins live in Antarctica. Polar bears live in the Arctic, not Antarctica. And people don't live in Antarctica. And now it's a good time to uh, remove this part, the incorrect information, from the no column. This way they can see what they did wrong or where they made a mistake. Okay, so now let's recap. Let's summarize. <laughs> So the first two columns are used in the introduction part of the lesson. Uh, it gets them thinking about the topic and it tells you what they already know. It's where uh, the, they activate their background knowledge. Um, the second column is used in the teaching part of the lesson. It's where you present new material. Uh, as, and as you present new material, please refer to this column to make sure you answer the questions your students asked. And the third column is used as a recap activity. It helps uh, the students see what they learned so they feel good about it. Look how much we've learned. This is what we didn't know and this is what we already know. Also, it's a good visual tool. Your students can see the mistakes they made and um, how they fixed them. So it also helps your students 
remember the information, which is really, really important. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to turn the notifications on so you never miss a single upload. Thank you very much for watching, have a wonderful day and hug, hug everyone you love and care about. Peace to all of you. Thank you.